What's up, my friends? How y'all doing? It's me, Johnny, and welcome back to another one of our so rare videos. Today, we're going to be doing a little bit of a deeper dive into what's been happening in this specific game week and uh, also what I am going to be lining up in the upcoming game week. As you guys can tell, absolutely no rewards have been won, but clearly I had a bunch of players that did perform really well that I just failed to put into the same team. You can see every team has been let down by one or two players in this one specifically. Specifically, we had Rodrigo letting us down massively in a 3-0 win against Croatia. And then, of course, Manuel Noya conceding in one of the last minutes of the game due to Rudiger scoring an own goal. Cheers, lads. But going into this next game week, I'm really hopeful that I can get it right this time around because the rewards, man, they are actually insane. Like, if we look at the rewards here that they're giving out in, um, in the uh, European Championship prize pool... You have stars being paid out down to the 10th position. That is amazing. We never had anything like it. So to miss out on rewards during the Euro competition, it would be a painful thing. It really, really would be. I mean, as we keep moving towards the later rounds, obviously more and more people will not be able to participate. So I'm really hoping that the players I have and the teams I basically support through Sorare are going to be able to go through the furthest. I mean, I'm personally hoping that Germany is going to be going as far as possible. I have three players from France. I have three players from Germany. I have uh, two from Portugal, maybe even more. I have two from England, obviously. But uh, yeah, we have some decent players and hopefully these guys will do better next time. Now, this time around, I want to dive into the lineup builder with you guys. And again, as we dive into it, of course, we're going to be utilizing so rare data. And for that, you guys, hopefully, if you are signing up to SoRare itself, you need to know that this game is not playable without SoRare data. And if you are on SoRare data, make sure to get yourself the membership by using the code Johnny while doing so. That would be very, very much appreciated because I personally absolutely love this platform more than SoRare itself, to be honest. And without it, it would be impossible to play this game. So if you guys are signing up for it, please use code Jenny. Link in the description as always. But let's dive in into the teams that I have put together. And I'm not 100% sure. So please, if you guys do have any ideas, let me know about them. So initially, the thought process here is I would love to have like, like let's just do it together. Okay, let me just delete these teams, all of them. Let me go into my lineup builder, remove all lineups and let's do it together one more time just so you guys can kind of understand my thinking as I'm going through these. Can you please remove? Thank you. Okay. So as we go through these and we delete everything, we will be able to see that if we go to Europa, uh, what is that? Leave. Yes. If we go to this one, Euro, and you'll see that the goalkeepers I have available, it's Manuel Neuer, it's Magno, it's Soma. We have three goalkeepers during the Euro group stages, and hopefully I'll have three by the time we get into the next round as well. That'd be nice. But we are looking at Switzerland playing against Scotland, who looked absolutely horrible, horrible, what the hell, horrible against uh, Switzerland. So I'm thinking Switzerland gets past them there. Question is, is it going to be a clean sheet? Yes or no? I'm not 100% sure. Um, Mike Magnon against, against the Dutch. I think that's going to be a game where both teams concede. So he goes into a lower priority lineup for me instantly. And then obviously we have Manuel Neuer here, who is obviously playing against Hungary. And I think he is due a clean sheet. That last game, he should have got one, to be honest with you. It's a huge shame that he didn't. So we're going to go ahead and put Manuel Neuer in here because I feel most confident with him. I am aware that... Um, Hungary have the likes of Soboslai and stuff. We're going to be taking a bunch of shots from outside the box. Uh, but I don't think that should be an issue for Manuel Neuer. I'm at least hoping it won't be an issue. Then we have Van Dijk against the French. Mbappe is not playing, which kind of gives me hope that the Dutch could actually go ahead and do better in this game than I think. But then again, I think the most important player in the French setup is Griezmann. And if he now has even more responsibilities... That could be a good thing and it could technically be a bad thing for Van Dijk and the French have insane players off the bench anyway so it's not like they're gonna look way worse it's still gonna be an extremely good team so 
I, I'm not 100% sure on that one. What I do know is I'm pretty confident that Theo Hernandez is going to get a bunch of attempted assists. He's going to be moving forward all the time. And on the right-hand side, who plays for Netherlands? I think it's Dumfries. Theo Hernandez and Dumfries are battling in real life in, in the... Um, in the Italian league as well. You have them playing against each other all the freaking time. And basically, if you go into Theo Hernandez's stats and you just look at the scores against Inter, then you can probably tell what you can expect right here. Red card, okay? That's not ideal. Going further down the list, any other Inter matchup, you will able, you'll be able to see that he doesn't necessarily get the best ones. Like 5-1 loss. <laughs> he he was the reason for a goal conceded and it, it's like it just happens all the time with Theo Hernandez against Inter he against Dumfries specifically there is a personal battle there that he seems to be losing every time and I am worried about that so I'm I'm just I'm a bit hesitant so I feel like even though I picked Theo Hernandez at first, now that I'm talking about this with you guys, I'm feeling like it would be much more smarter to go with Van Dijk because I can see a lot of corners, a lot of those things happening and Van Dijk being the main man to try and get rid of it. And then, of course, we could see some last man tackles as well with the fast players of France getting in behind through the passes of Griezmann. I feel like there's more of a chance that he's going to do well than the fact that uh, Theo Hernandez is going to do well against the likes of Dumfries, who seems to dominate him. So I'm going to go Van Dijk. I'm going to go Van Dijk. I'm just going to go with my gut. And then we have Turkey against Portugal. I cannot support Bruno against Turkey. It's not. It's just not going to happen. How about Arda Güler, by the way? What a performance, mate. I'm so happy that that kid is actually not just hype. He is actually good. And that's what I love about it. And uh, Jude Bellingham against Denmark. I think that's the key one to choose. I think Jude will step up once again. I think he will be taking part in those attacks and uh, going ahead and scoring again. And if England actually change their setup and bring in Anthony Gordon into the team instead of Phil Foden, they could have even more of an attacking threat. Phil Foden off the left for England. It just doesn't work. And then up top, I was thinking I'm going to back my boys. I'm going to go with Musiala and Vietz and uh, see what these boys do. Captaining the, the right player here is such a tough thing to do. But I think I'm going to captain Jude because he also has that AA side of his game that can also be defensive. So that can be quite useful if he puts in tackles and all that good stuff. Denmark is not an easy opponent, though. They do have some solid midfielders with the likes of Eriksen doing extremely well with Hulmant and such. So maybe I should go with a more attacking option. I think, uh, do I go Musiala? Do I go Vietz? I think Musiala is the one man. His dribbles and everything. The forward card, when he loses possession, it doesn't hurt as much. I'm going to go Musiala on this one. And then we're going to go over to the second lineup. Now, here is where things get a bit interesting and I'm happy to back others. So Jan Zoma goes into this one because again, Magno, I am struggling with. Um, because I'm not using... Ah, maybe I should just, should I just do this? Because in case they do actually keep a clean sheet, at least I'll have those two together. And then I can put Rodrigo in there and I can actually go full French in this lineup and then put in Rafa Leao. I feel like Jota is going to play. So maybe I put in Bruno here and that's the lineup. That's not a bad lineup. If France keep a clean sheet... And they actually do win, which I think they are the stronger team, technically on paper. This might be the one to go for. And if they are going to win, it's going to depend on Griezmann, in my opinion. So I'm going to back Griezmann in this one and uh, see how it goes. In the other lineup, we are backing Van Dijk. In this one, we are backing the French. So it basically balances itself out. Hopefully, it will work out for me. And then I could actually technically go all-star rare. I do have Jan Zoma. I do have Cristian Romero. I do have the likes of Joao Paulo, and then we will have, <sighs> do I go with Rafa? Yeah, I think with Rafa, even as a substitute, he can have a huge impact. Even though it's against Turkey, it hurts me, but I'll, I'll just do this. Okay, all-star rare. We'll just back these boys and see how it goes. Um, Joao Paulo can be the one there, and then save it. That way, hopefully, maybe we get lucky in all-star rare. And then in uh, Super Rare, I don't really have any options. I can only go into, where is this? Cap 240, I believe. 
I can put in Manuel Neuer. I can put in a no game player in the likes of Eder Militao. And then I will be able to go with the likes of, hold on, let's apply this filter real quick. Now I could have Palacios in there, but I'm not gonna, I'm gonna back Soboslai in case Germany loses. Maybe I get something out of it. And then Sigankov and Marcus Turam. And then, oops, that was not what I wanted to do. Great. Okay. We've got to do this again now. Sorry about that. Let's put these boys in there, Militao, and then apply this filter again. Soboslai, Tiram, there we go. And then captain. I think Ukraine has to step up big time. So I'm going to be captaining Tsigankov here. If they don't win that game, it's basically done for them. So I'm going to back him. Cap 240. The odds are not that great. I'll be going for the lowest threshold I can go for. But that's what I have left at the moment. So might as well put these guys in there. Cap 240 rare. Do I have enough players? I mean, I don't have a goalkeeper. But do you have this guy with zero L15? That could be useful. Trent can go into this. Um, Palacios could go into this in case he does play. Jota in case he does play, I guess, makes sense. And then I have 73 points remaining. I guess I'll be going for Grimaldo on this one. Who knows? Maybe he comes on and just Captain Trent. And then, yeah, it's just a throwaway lineup, but... Maybe it can be quite useful. But yeah, haven't seen all that. Let me check the gallery value. Haven't looked at it. Okay, it's still above 31K. That's interesting, man. That was a massive jump from like 25 to 31. I still can't put my finger on why that happened. But I guess it's probably because Soboslai is way overvalued. Um, 3,300 definitely is not the correct number. Um, and then with some of the others, they should be more expensive. But it's fine. It's all good. So uh, we'll see how this round of the Euros goes. I'll be putting those lineups in today. Let me know in the comments down below how far you guys have gotten, how you have done in this past game week. If you have anything to say about the lineups that I've put together, please let me know as well. I appreciate all of you guys watching, and I'm hoping that you guys have a great day watching the Euros. I will be out there watching Germany today uh, in some sort of like pub public viewing thing in Dubai. And uh, that should be fun. So I'll catch you guys then. Take care and peace.